I'm Mel and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be showing you how I make a weekend bag out of fabric. Now my fabric I've picked today is a light blue, uh, like a duck egg colour with a mixture of dog, dogs all over it and a navy blue uh, plain cotton fabric for the inside. Now this sewing project is uh, probably intermediate sewer's ability. Uh, you will need a sewing machine and we will go through everything else you need whilst we are cutting out the fabric now. So for this you will need 60 centimetres um, by 140 centimetre in width of your face fabric and 60, 60 centimetres of lining. You'll need 60 centimetres of medium weight interfacing, four metres of strapping, four O-rings, two sets of press studs, and we're not using the other zip, so just one zip, which is 62 centimetres long. And this is what your bag will look like in the end, obviously not in that fabric. <laughs> So on your fabric, we've folded it in half and we've marked 68 centimetres, it's actually 68 centimetres in width and depth is 50 centimetres. And then we're going to cut this out and that is the main body of your bag. pinning the uh, lining fabric for the bag and going to cut this out again like we did for the outside fabric. our interfacing into the right size already um, and this is ready to iron onto the main fabric on the wrong side of the fabric. So for the strapping we have four meters of strapping here and we're going to cut four lengths of 55 centimeters, two lengths of 40 centimeters and four lengths of 16 centimeters. In half so that you've got a front and a back to a uh, to the bag and then cut the down the line you've folded so using your tape measure measure 20 centimeters from the bottom on both sides in and then mark with a pencil I've already done this side as you can see and I will just do this side now On the top of both your back and front you need to mark 25 centimetres in from the side and 10 from the top and mark a circle down on your using your pencil again. Just measuring it to make sure it's accurate. Then we're just going to mark a circle with the pencil like so and then again on so you need to do two so from both sides again and front and back
so you need to mark one and a half centimeters on the top of both of the front and the back of your bag and you need to press this down using the iron and this is your seam allowance uh, and it will help with your zip and that later so like so and we will go and iron this so now we're going to work on the strapping so you need to fold in five centimeters from the top and put your o-ring d-ring whatever one you got into that and then pin in place just tuck under the raw edge so this is ready to sew so measure the five centimeters which will then fold over And then we'll pin in that, but first of all, you want to mark there with your finger, that's the five centimetres, and put your O-ring through. Because you can then go back and measure it, and that is the five centimetres. And then with your the raw edge, if you just tuck that under, And then using your pin, pin it into place just so that it is secure enough to sew. And repeat that with all four of your 55 centimetre lengths of strapping. So now all four have been pinned in place, we are going to use our sewing machine and stitch a square to secure, to secure the O-ring in place. like so. length to the two 55 centimeters by doing the same with the square again and your five centimeters to match it so then it will all join together as one so now you can see I've just pinned it in place but I'm going to sew the squares but this is then all joined as one length so I'm going to sew this square now now repeat with the other two 55 centimetre lengths and the other 40 centimetre length to form another strap. Take your four 16 centimetre straps and fold these in half and pin together at the bottoms. Then mark 1.5 centimetres on the fold down from the fold the folded edge and this is where your fastener will go. on your leaflet that comes in the pack. We will show you how we're doing ours, but ours is slightly different to the last pack we used, so each pack does vary.
now pops into place and is secured. So now we are placing the straps in place and the square you did on the 55 centimeter bit needs to be secured onto the dot that you made um, one of the first steps. So then that will be secured with a pin and do that on both, on the front and back on both straps. So now we've pinned all the squares at the top to the circles, we are now placing the inside of the strap bottom to the mark we made 20 centimetres in from the bottom and then we'll pin in place ready to sew. So now I'm going to use the machine and sew the strap into place, go as close to the edge as possible of the strapping so it's all secure. So now the straps and the tabs are all sewn on in place, it's now on to the next step. Lay the zip along the top edge of one half of your lining fabric and pin in place the zip right side up and the fabric right side up. Our fabric doesn't have a right and wrong side so we are going with it like this. So I have stitched on the machine nearest the edge with the two centimetres at the end, either end, left unstitched all the way along. So, and then we are now going to put the fabrics right side together um, with the other side of the lining and then sew again along the zip. So now this is pinned, I'm going to stitch along the raw edge again, close as possible. So the zip is secured to both sides of the lining. So now we've put one side of the face fabric to the top of the zip and we, where we folded this and ironed it earlier we are now pinning this to the zip and we will sew along the top to secure the zip to the top of the back. Put right sides together now and pin the bottom corners and the straps so they match on both sides together, like so, and pin in place. Move the lining out of the way. So take the bottom tab which is the bottom of your pop fastener and fold this into the corner, the bottom corner of your bag and pin into place. It's be very thick to sew, but it will worth it. Make it easier than the <coughs> both ends. Put both ends in. Allow for the side seams when putting the tabs in, pinning the tabs in place. Um, you also remember you to do the top ones too, but make sure that the pop fasteners will pop together, so working out the way you would have them. So now, because this is all pinned in place, we will sew round the edge of the bag on three sides. And this is just the outside pieces joined together, not the lining, we will do the lining after. So now you can see we've sewn in all four tabs. Just make sure that they work and go together like so. Um, now I'm going to turn this inside out and trim all the corners. So now I have my gap here and I can turn this all in the right way. So now your bag is in the right way and ready to go. You just need to 
pin along here where your uh, gap is from where you didn't sew it and pin along and then sew the edge along the sewing machine just so your lining is secure and then this will then fold in the bag uh, if you've got any loose threads just trim them away and your bag is ready to go so that's it for today's video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up please comment down below if you'd make this bag please subscribe push the notification bell to see when i post thanks for watching bye